Hey friends, I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my studio. Uh, leave a comment and wave hi, whether you're new or returning. I really love getting to know you, chatting with you guys. It's super fun for me. I have a little housekeeping to do before we get started. Uh, so this video will post Sunday, August 15th, and then Emily and I, Emily's my daughter, we're going to do our first live video on Wednesday, August 18th. I don't know the time yet, but probably noon, just based on I was looking at statistics when people are on YouTube and looking at, at my videos, because those are the only statistics I can see. <laughs> that was kind of a weird comment. Um, join us. It'll probably be bumpy because we're going to try to figure out how it works. It'd be really fun to chat with you guys, hang out. I'm going to do some sort of pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern. It'll be small. I also want to try and keep it to an hour so that we can get the video uploaded. And I think it's going to be really fun. So if you want to come check it out, help us learn, I'd really appreciate it. It'd be a lot of fun. Today I want to do a 6x6 six six painting, Queen Anne's Lace. I noticed some growing by the side of the road near where my daughter lives. So I thought it'd be fun. And then I've got little bees in it. Usually I do big bees. I love bees. They're so fun. They're easy to paint. This will be sort of a simple landscape too. So we'll combine the two. Okay, let's have some fun and get started. Look at this fun palette. So I've had this paint for quite a while gosh, years, bright aqua green. I ended up putting out more than I intended. That's okay. But anyway, I thought it'd be fun to try and use it. Sort of my last springy summery painting maybe of the year. And then I put out cerulean blue, Naples yellow. You can use regular yellow if you don't have Naples. And prism violet. So I was hoping, I've never done this before, but I'm hoping this will make a fun uh, green for grasses. Oh, here's my sketch. So I think this will be the star of our show, but it's such a little painting. So we're just kind of walking up and down the painting. And then my landscape will bend a little bit back here. My horizon lines two inches down. I'm just thinking darker grasses down here. Oh, I was gonna use portrait pink. Maybe we'll put out a little bit of that. I made notes. <laughs> Good thing I made notes. Let's see, do I have it here? Oh, there. Well, this will work. This is light pink. Which is, I think, the same as portrait pink. They just renamed it. It looks like it's really close to the same color. Okay, so light pink. And so I'm hoping this will make some fun greens. We'll see. If not, or this will make... <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I don't talk that much when I'm alone in my studio. My voice gets rough. This will make greens, too. And I think the, the violet will be a nice, dark, summery color to add in the landscape. What else do I want to tell you? This is a 6x6 canvas panel from Michaels. I just love these. They're really fun. They're inexpensive. Um, they're about a dollar a piece. You can tell I'm trying not to clear my throat. <laughs> Uh, definitely not a newscaster. Oh, and then titanium white. Okay, I'm gonna play a little bit and then I'll be back. Oh, wait a minute, did I show you my traceable? Oh, I showed you the sketch. I did a little fake there. The traceable is quite similar. I'll get that up on my website in a couple days, way before this video posts. Okay guys, back in a little bit. Hey, I'm popping in because Freckles is yelling at me and now she won't look. Hey, say hi. <laughs> what do you want? Anything particular? I'm just going to leave. Oh, okay. Now she's telling me. Okay. I just thought you guys might like to see Freckles.
I wanted to pop in with some thoughts. So I got, I was trying to get a dark green and when I, I knew when I add the purple, it might not work because purple and yellow, even though these aren't exactly on the color wheel, they're close enough so they gray each other out. I really love the yellow, uh, yummy yellow green that uh, Naples Yellow and the Aqua, what was it, Aqua? Bright Aqua Green made. That, I really love this color. And then I, this is dry brushing. So you can kind of tell my brush is dry because it's split. And I think that looks really neat. I think you get a good tree effect, tree line effect. And now I'm just putting in some darks. I may end up putting black on my palette just to um, get some darks in the painting, sort of indicating some grasses. I kind of have cooler grasses with a bump just to vary it. But it, you know, kind of has this going on. This has a little bit of that sweep going on too. So I just wanted to pop in, let you know what I was thinking. I, I also want to get this done so it can dry for at least an hour while I go eat dinner and then we'll come back and paint the rest of it. Hey, <laughs> I think that was kind of quiet. Hey guys, isn't this pretty? I think it's really pretty. I like the yellow green in here. And now it's getting it closer so you can see the dry brush. Oh here, maybe we'll see the dry brush trees. And then I came back with a little white, kind of bluish white. Oh, I think I put a little right there just to soften it up a little bit. Oops, sorry. I always forget that I need to hold it to the left. And I dried brush a little path. It may get covered up as we go. I'm not sure. It looks too dark uh, to me, but I, I always think my backgrounds look too dark. So I'm going to leave it. We can always lighten it up later. The flowers are white, so I actually don't want that to get too much whiter. And then it's, it's a, I've been doing qu quite a few. I don't know how many. Six or seven simple landscapes, um, some cloud videos. So really, it's just... Kind of the same thing, different colors. You know, brush stroke direction matters. Oops, I have something on there. This one I just posted recently, if you want to see this video. It has a traceable too. And then I think I'm going, instead of using my traceable, I'm just going to draw it on with a charcoal pencil. This is a general charcoal pencil. I'm hoping this is dry enough. So I think, actually this one, even though this... This one's prob probably the star of our show, like I talked about in the daisy painting. Um, but they're both, they're all kind of, well, maybe not that one so much. But we've got a little bit of a circle going here, and then you kind of get a bigger circle going between the bees and the flowers. And then I'm going to put in, I think I'm going to put in a lot of little dots and some little teeny white flowers to indicate the Queen Anne's lace. So we'll just see how this goes. So I don't know if I want to put in this one first, maybe. I'm gonna fold this. Probably should just use the traceable. <laughs> Comes in about two fingers. Sometimes the hardest thing is starting, whether it's a background or anything. Oh, I just heard a bunch. Of, I don't think you could hear it. There's a bunch of dogs just barking like something scared them. I want this one. I like really like this one, and we don't want to get it too close because I ordered. Um, from Michael's Some little six by six shadow box frames. Oh, I'll uh, stop the video. I'll go get the daisies Oh, no, that one's not in the shadow box frame. I'll go get a different painting And show you what I mean and it should be really cute. I really like them I 
just want to get those to place. I probably won't even draw the bees on because I'm just gonna I'm just gonna paint kind of like like little blobs and then little wings. I'm not gonna do like my larger bees. I'm just gonna kind of indicate bees. You know what I might. So I don't know if you guys like seeing me draw this. I don't, I do better when I don't talk when I'm drawing. Oh, and my computer's dinging. I think I'll go to time lapse and I'll be right back. A couple thoughts. Did I mention that this was a three quarter inch Royal Langnickel Filbert? I, I keep writing it on there and then I it, it washes or rubs off. And then this is a, a twelve, a number twelve Royal Langnickel. And I'm just using the shape of the filbert to kind of get. I'm just sort of indicating the how a Queen Anne lace flower looks. It's real lacy, real little. I think they're real teeny little, little bits. I could do that. I might do that. I'm just sort of sneaking, kind of like sneaking up on the values I talk about. Um, I'm kind of sneaking up on the flowers. I think I'm going to want darker values down here. I did add some black so I could get a darker green. What else? There was something I wanted to tell you. Oh, so I'm I'm saving the white for last on the flowers to help give them a little more depth. So I'm just putting different colors in there. I think that's about it. I'm gonna go back to the time lapse. I had a thought. So I just kind of work up and down in values. So originally the stem was dark. And I thought, you know what, it'll pop more if I have more dark around the base of this flower. So then I put in some light so you can kind of see the hint of a stem. Did, did the same thing there. And then I also thought, I kind of held it up during the time lapse for a screenshot, but I thought maybe you guys would like to see it. I think I might put in some of the whites on the flower so I can kind of see how things are looking. It's getting pretty. I like painting a little more impressionistic sometimes. Um, this is fairly impressionistic too because I paint pet portraits quite realistic. I think it's just fun to mix it up a little. Okay guys, I'll be back in a little while.
Hey, I just wanted to pop in. I put a couple dots in this bigger flower. It needs something. I'm not sure what. Or maybe just some more medium values. So I'm gonna step away from it and see how it looks. Uh, take a photo with my camera. Most people don't view it this close. They view it, oh gosh, you know, feet away. Oh, I think that one, that one needs a little something. It's a little flat. And then I was thinking maybe putting some, I don't know if that'll work. Maybe I'll just kind of, because I still, I kind of still have that path hinted under there. Uh, that I had in the background. Do I need to still kind of need to talk about it a little more? Oh, and I think maybe some grasses. Maybe I'll put some grasses in. I'm about done. I think I'll paint a little more, come back, and say goodbye. <music> Alrighty, I'm calling this one done. I almost forgot the bees. So here, let's get close. So when you do little bees, well, I hope that can focus. That's little paint blobs. And then if you, it's sort of thinned out white a little bit with water. And then if you want a little brighter, I don't know if you can tell, but I put a little dot on the top of the wing on the left. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying to see if that's centered and focusing so they're just like little bean shapes and then this one I use gray on so it's a little further away I think this is really pretty I love the colors they are so yummy let me know what you think of this one if you give any of my paintings a try and you want to let me know I'd like to know which ones you like uh, which ones you don't like which ones were more fun? Any any comments you want to send, that's awesome. Thank you for hanging out with me. If you've hung out with me this long, be sure if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell. I rarely, rarely say hit the bell. Uh, give it a like, because that helps me reach more people, which is super fun for me. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you all soon. Bye, guys.